So as soon as an account gets created for you on our STCCD Instructure server, you'll receive an email from Instructure Canvas with the subject line, Finish Registration. So inside that email is a link that we'll click on to finish the registration process. So go ahead and click on that link. And once you do, it has you set up the password for your account, the time zone for your account, and agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. And then it lets you register your account on the system. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you've done so, you'll see the courses to which you have access on our SDCCD Instructure account. If you've got a brand new Canvas account, but you still don't have access to any Canvas courses, then there won't be much for you to see yet on Canvas. You will see down the left hand side of the screen, you have what's called the Global Navigation menu, where you can access your dashboard, which is what we're looking at now, your courses, of which we don't have any right now, your calendar tool, the uh, inbox for the conversations tool as it's called in Canvas, and our account information where we can update our profile, our notification settings, etc. So if you do want to update your account on Canvas, which we recommend you doing, go ahead and check out that video. We've got a video on just that process. But like I said, since this user doesn't have access to any courses yet on Canvas, there's not much else to see here. If that's the case for you at SDCCD, then contact SDCCD Online Learning Pathways, so that's Dave Giberson or myself, Katie Palacios. Yes, it's me, I just have a cold today. <laughs> and we can help to get you access to some pilot courses on the SDCCD Instructure system so that you'll see some courses here in your dashboard. In the meantime, notice though that you can start your own new course on Canvas if you want to start to try out the system as an instructor. Be sure to watch our video on how to start a new Canvas course. We've also got a video to show you how to import your Blackboard course over to Canvas. So check out that video if you're interested in that process. All right, so let me get this user enrolled in some courses. Hang tight for just a second while I do that. Okay, so we're back. I've enrolled this user into several courses now on our system as a student. So that's what all of these green notification messages mean. I'm going to quickly click on Accept to make these notifications go away. As I do, it takes me into the courses that I'm accepting. Let me go back over to our dashboard here and finish clicking through. Some of these classes are were created by Canvas. That is, they're just um, sample courses from Canvas in which you're enrolled as a student. So as you click Accept, it takes you into the course. Here's an American History course as a student. And I'm just going back to the dashboard on each of these to finish accepting the invitations. So here's a biology course. I'll go back to the dashboard. Music theory. I'll go back to the dashboard. Again, these are just sample courses from Canvas that they've provided to us. And by default, you'll be enrolled as students into these. Just giving you something to check out. Here's Intro to Geology. The one that was created by us here at SDCCD Online Learning Pathways to assist you with getting started is called SDCCD Canvas Mini Course. And you'll be enrolled into this course as a student. So now, of course, the dashboard looks different, right? We've got links to all of the courses. We can do, uh, these are direct links to particular tools inside the course. So the discussion board tool, assignments, discussions, files. It depends on which tools are available in each of the courses. If you wanted to go directly, kind of take a shortcut to specific tools in the course. You can use your settings, your um, this gear icon to change the color of the course if you wanted to. I'm not sure if you can't, can't drag and drop those. But um, So our dashboard shows us a quick glance across all the courses in which we're enrolled in the system. You've got over in the sidebar the to-do list. So these are to-do items across all of the courses in which you're enrolled. So there's going to be a lot considering that as a pilot user you might be enrolled in as many as seven courses on the system. Um, it would show due dates if there were due dates upcoming in the next week and it would show feedback if you had gotten grades feedback on things that you had submitted on the system. 
Okay, and then of course we'll st we're still seeing the global navigation menu along the left. All right, so let's go ahead and enter the SDCCD Canvas mini course as a student. All right, once you're here, then it's time for me to let you go. Come, go ahead and get started in the course. We've got another video in the course for you to access that will take you through the three modules of this mini course. Best of luck to you as you get started in Canvas. As always, let us know what we can do to assist.